So today we're going to take a look at some of Fire Sticks and your Fire TV's best secret menus. There's a few of them. We're going to go through them and it gives you a few more options of different things you can do on your Fire TV device. Some will help you tracking how well your device is working. Some will add new features. Some will help you find more content and some will just help you be able to navigate quicker and things like that. So this is a great tip for anybody who's got new Fire Sticks, Fire TVs, a great reminder for you regular watchers who have been here all the time. So if you're brand new here, do hit that subscribe button. We cover all your streaming content, all your streaming devices, tips, tricks, and everything. Regular watchers, as always, if you can watch till the end, give us a share, really helps us out. And if anybody knows any other secret menus, drop them in the comments for us. Let us know what's good about it for you and we'll get on with them. Okay, so the first one we're gonna look at today is your hidden developer options, okay? These are slightly different. We know we have a developer menu, which I'm gonna show you in a minute as well. Hidden developer options are a little bit trickier to get hold of. So what you have to do, so we hold select down, you hold it for about 10 seconds, then you hit menu. And what comes up is this developer tools menu, okay? In here, you can actually control a few different things. Some things are no good for you, you know. Other things you can control, like you can turn on your system x-ray. And what this tells you is how your TV is running. So you're in 1080p. It will show you how much memory you're using. Um, it will show you your Wi-Fi, how the range is doing, things like that. So it's quite useful to monitor if your Fire Stick is struggling, things like this. It will show you that you're using up maybe too much RAM and you haven't got enough available up here. So it's good to watch if it's buffering and that's why. So you might need to obviously reset things, stuff like that. So you can turn that on and off in here. Um, advanced options is a little bit there. It will tell you a few bits down the side. Again, it's one you can have a look around and see what you think of it. This enables developers to record metrics for a command line. Not really something you would do normally. Obviously you can look at your safe zone for your device if you feel like you need a bigger safe zone. Developer options. You can turn on your developer options, but I'll show you another way to do that in a minute as well. And you can launch Network Advisor and clear credential storage. The main one really in this is the System X-Ray. because It really gives you an insight on how your connection to the internet is and your how your RAM is working, okay, and your processor and things. So it's a really good one to use there. Hope you like that one. Um, I've left mine on there. Let me just turn it off. So it was hold select, hold down for about 10 seconds, and then quickly hit the menu button. So we can turn that one off and that's done. Okay. Talking about developer options, lots of Fire TV sticks, as you get them, as you first use them, are missing your developer options, okay? So you need developer options to install apps from unknown sources, and how do you get that back? So in your settings, if you go down to My Fire TV, in here, a lot are missing developer options. So as you look there, we've got no developer options currently, yeah? So what you have to do, you click on where it says About, and then you click this Fire TV Stick 4K Max or whichever one yours says at the top there. You click it seven times. You see it coming up at the bottom. And then what it will say after seven, you are now a developer. Okay, so when you push back on your remote here, you now have developer options. Perfect, yeah? So you can click that one open and in here you can turn on install unknown apps and ADB debugging. You will need that setting if you follow any of my other videos regarding installing apps and streaming apps, things like that. Okay, the next one we're gonna do is actually one of my favorite hidden menus and a lot of people don't use it. So if you get your remote, you can double tap the blue um, Alexa button and what comes up is this menu here. Um, some might have the ambient bit Alexa education and you can see the weather as well. Um, let me move my head out of the way. But the best part is the smart home. So you click on the smart home menu and this gives you control of your cameras, your heating, anything you have smart home connected to your Alexa app, you can control. So I've got, I've got lights in my office. So we can turn that one off. We can hopefully turn it back on again. In my children's rooms, you can set up groups if you want to. I've got a thermostat, which is my hallway heating. And you can do cameras as well. So I could look at my front door if I want to. I've got an echo show in my office. So if you click on the one you want to watch, you can look at your camera. So there we go. That's my echo show at the top there, showing into my office. 
Brilliant. So you can do all that and you can control it all within here. And if you want to add more things, you do it in your Alexa app on your phone. OK, we can do a more detailed video on how to add things to that. If you want in the future, let me know in the comments again. The final menu we're going to do. Actually, should we do two? Let's do this one first is a really simple menu. I'm sure many of you use, but it just helps navigation. So if you hold down your home button, what you get is this menu here. So you can go into your profiles. You can put your device into sleep. You can go to mirroring or you can quickly pop to settings. OK, this just helps speed things up. So that one's really easy. I'm sure many of you use that one. If you hold down that one, hold down the home. OK, really easy. Um, if you're a prime video user, there is another menu you can use as well. Um, if you go to settings, uh, go to accounts and profile settings. If you click on prime video, What it will do is load up your Prime details. So you load into Prime rather than being in your Fire Stick. So you can get all your Prime stuff in here. Down the side there, you've got Store, Live TV, My Stuff, all in here, okay? It's slightly different around the world, different countries and things. Um, it includes um, Freevee in it as well, a lot of the times. So if you want any free content, it's all down in here as well somewhere, okay? There's Freevee. These are all free. So even if you don't have a Prime account, you can watch all of these for free under Freevee. They're all in there as well. Brilliant. Let me know which of those was your favorite, which was those was your favorite secret menu. OK, obviously, again, if you're new here, you'll see we've got tons of videos. We've nearly got 600,000 followers. I'd like you to join the community. It's 100 percent free to do. You just hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications and you'll see all our latest videos. We're on all the big social medias. Just look up Doc Squiffy or the real Doc Squiffy, which we've had to name ourselves on some platforms we've been shut down on, from TikTok to Facebook to uh, Twitter or X as it's called now, Instagram. We're on all of them, okay? And again, a quick word from one of our partners. If you're after a VPN for your device, I have one on my Fire Stick. A good way to keep yourself safe, open yourself access to more content around the world is a VPN. IP Vanish have great deals on at the moment. Link is directly underneath in the description and in the pinned comment for you. Hopefully that was all really useful for you. Really appreciate your time watching this for about eight minutes. Really helps us out if you've watched all the way to the end. So if you have watched to the end, thank you very much. We will be doing more videos over the next coming days, more Fire Stick stuff, more streaming devices, more streaming apps. We'll bring those to you soon. Hit that thumbs up, drop me your comments, hit that subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.